Hey, welcome back, Rankers. How are you going? I had to just show you this quickly. This is a new tool out from Eleven Labs, and some of you may know that my audiobook, I use Eleven Labs to train my voice on. So I've got a professional voice clone. But Eleven Labs have just released these, what they're calling conversational agents. And basically, you can tune any of their voices to be an AI assistant. And this is uh, quite amazing. So if you think of it like uh, these are all their voices, this is the one that I've, my own voice, that I trained using their tools to create my audio book. But you can see there's a whole heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of other voices there. Um, then you can use, it's got a whole lot of bunch of criteria you can use in here to say, you know, is this, what's the goal of this particular interaction that we want to have this agent do? So think of these as, it could be an agent on your website, it could be a um, IVR, it could be someone answering your phone calls, outbound calls, uh, a whole range of things. And to do the, the actual phone calling stuff, you integrate with Twilio, which is a, uh, an SMS and, and phone service. Uh, and then you can also you know, make sure that you're adding or collecting the, the data that you want to collect. So different strings, numbers, whatever it might be, it's going to collect it and you can say what you want that to be. And the large language model is going to handle all this stuff. So it's very, very cool. Um, the uh, You can save your costs here by you know, saying how long the uh, conversation is going to last uh, because... Uh, 11 labs will charge you based on the length of voice interactions that you have or voice that you do. The widget is just a simple thing of you want to embed it in your website. Sure, here it is. Here's the code. Embed it in your website, customize your widget, your colors, all those sorts of things. The actual agent itself, obviously you can customize this sort of stuff. You can choose which language. Now, because I trained my clone obviously in English I'm only going to use English we did test it this morning to see if it would speak another language as it, and it did but uh, according to our native uh, Urdu speaker it didn't do it very well so my voice has not been trained on say speaking in Hindi or any other languages so I'm not going to get it to do that choose your large language model I'm choosing 3.5 sonnet from Claude or from Anthropic I should say mainly because I find that's the most efficient and the best one. I get the best responses out of it. No option here to obviously, oh, custom LLM. So you possibly you could plug in your open source one. Haven't tried that, but that would be interesting. Save on your costs on your LLM at least. Uh, I think the main cost here though is going to be from 11 labs. Um, things like temperature and all that sort of stuff. Now, knowledge base, I could easily add uh, you know, a clear set of instructions, um, and you can see there, um, you know, this is essentially what we call RAN, RAG, <laughs> uh, Retrieval Augmented gen uh, Generation, is that what the G stands for? Retrieval Augmented, I forget what the G stands for. But basically it's data that the large language model can access during a session uh, to get the right information out. And, uh, different tools that we can add here. Uh, I haven't tried to even look at any of these tools, but this is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I can go off and do things p potentially. I don't know. Uh, add parameters, there's URLs that can go and look at. Yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. But let's just take it for a spin. Hi, I'm Jim. How can I help you today? G'day, Jim. Um, I was wondering if you can help me with, I've got a, I'm afflicted with some, uh, a bald patch, and I was wondering if you'd be able to help me with that. G'day there. I'm sorry to hear about your bald patch, but don't worry, I'm here to help. Hair loss can be a tricky issue, but there are definitely options we can explore. Could you tell me a bit more about your situation? For example, how long have you noticed the bald patch, and have you tried any treatments so far? The more information you can provide, the better I can assist you in finding potential solutions. Okay. 
So, yeah, no, I noticed it about, uh, how old am I now? 50 years ago. Probably you noticed it about 40 years ago. Uh, it started, and it's just got worse since then. I haven't tried any other treatments. I've just thought, my friend said to me, you know, if you shave it off, it's a bit like mowing your lawn. It'll grow back thicker. I haven't seen that to be the case, though. Oh, I see. Thank you for sharing that information. I'm sorry to say, but your friend's advice about shaving isn't quite accurate. Shaving doesn't actually make hair grow back thicker. That's a common myth. Hair loss that's been progressing for 40 years is likely a case of male pattern baldness, which is quite common and natural. While there's no miracle cure, there are some treatments that can help slow hair loss or even promote some regrowth. Have you considered speaking with a dermatologist or trycologist? I don't even know what a, I don't even know what a trichologist is. But look, thank you very much for your help. And now you can imagine if that was because I've used my own voice here, it's a bit creepy. But you can imagine if that was a um, uh, a phone conversation, um, outbound calls. Uh, I mean, you know, the, the the list goes on. Sales calls, just you know, inbound calls. Uh, but even like if you're a small business operator and you let's just say you're a professional, you're, um, you've got some extra skills that you can, like for instance, in my situation, uh, I could offer SEO advice based on all the training data that I've recorded over the last um, 30 years, whatever it's been, 25 years. So I could use all that as as my information that it could draw on and people could, could call in, have a conversation and get advice. Um, so yeah, quite extraordinary how fast this whole space is moving. And this looks really easy to set up. I haven't used it in the wild yet, but uh, I have actually had it speak in other languages. So, and presumably if you had some of the Eleven Labs um, models that were trained in other languages as well as English, then, you know, they could speak in multiple languages. So go and have a look at it. Try it. it I'm being charged, what is it, 500 credits per minute here. So I've already uh, probably, I've already probably churned through uh, a couple of thousand credits this morning just having a play. But I thought you'd find that really interesting. And that was just a short one, and I will see you next week. Thanks very much. By the way, did a great interview last week with uh, Gabriel Lanari, another SEO, old SEO, and we just had a bit of a bit of a chat about what's happening in uh, SEO and AI and search. So go and have a look at that in case you haven't seen that. And I'm also coming up with a few more interviews. And if you have anyone you want me to have a chat with and have a talk to, um, let me know in the comments. Thanks very much, guys. We'll see you next week. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell your friends. Bye.